I want to say it's like five o'clock in the morning and y'all it is pouring down so I woke up because I kept hearing like um you know like a lot of rain noise and stuff like that or whatever girl I can't really see but it sounds like the chairs oh my god I knew it okay I can see I know you guys can't see this but girl, the chairs in the pa uh, the chairs at the pool, like the lounge chairs, the wind literally blew them into like the the pool area. I I was like, I know I'm not hearing things or whatever. So the good news is the lights are still on, so that's a good thing. The lawn chairs are now in the pool. I spoke too soon. I said the lights hadn't gone out. The lights have gone out at least three or four times since I cut the camera off. Um, I just got out of the shower. I did my skincare routine. I did my lip care. I did my, you know, scalp. Did all my oil and, you know, body care and stuff like that. More than likely, I'm probably going to get, you know, get an outfit, a maxi dress or something and some shoes. My purse sit everything by the door just in case I have to evacuate and go to the lobby um or go to my car or something like that or whatever so i'll do that right now i'm getting ready to make some oatmeal and some coffee because i'm starving and i'm probably just gonna try to get my day started i have a vlog that i need to edit um so girls this might just be a uh, surviving hurricane barrel <laughs> so maybe i'll just vlog we'll do a spend the day with me um not sure if i told y'all what time it is it is 6 16. All right, girls, <laughs> not us having oatmeal by candlelight. So the lights are out again, which is fine, whatever. Now they're back on. Baby, let me tell you something. Mm. That's pretty much happening maybe like once every 15 minutes. I'm already over it, but I'm not gonna complain because at least they're not staying off for a long, you know, a long amount of time. All right, girls, y'all can get a better, y'all can probably see everything a little bit better. Um, but girl, the pool is towed up. We got the lawn chairs, we got the lounge chairs, everything just kind of blew into the pool, but the lights are still on. Let me make sure, oh, I have, y'all yeah, be having to make sure the door is locked. Sometimes uh, if it rains really bad, the door will literally open if it's not locked. So, yeah. I think what I'm about to do is probably start editing this vlog. I want it to go up tomorrow. Um, let me see. So, today is July the 8th. So, we'll have a vlog go up tomorrow. And um, maybe I need to start working on that. Let me figure some things out and I'll call y'all back. Girl. Y'all already know. <laughs> I am in the bed. I'm about to try to find something to watch. This stupid ass. Um, I guess the why. Like, okay, so here we go. I was gonna say because the power keeps going out, it's affecting the Wi-Fi. So I'm like, you know what? Let me find me something to watch. Oh, y'all know what? I heard um, selling. I think it's called Selling Manhattan. I heard that was good. But I was like, I kind of wanted to wait and watch it. It has like eight episodes. Baby, not Netflix taking all day. Come on, ma'am. The internet is officially out. So we have no internet. We have no Netflix, no HBO. Um, I will not be able to do any editing. Can take a nap which is probably what i'm gonna do so i figure if i take a nap now it's 6 59 a.m maybe i'll wake up maybe at 8 30 and when i wake up at 8 30 everything will be back to normal but anyway girl speaking of which y'all i have really been enjoying going to bed early i've been going to bed about 11 30 and it has just been so uh it's, it's just been so nice because i'm able to wake up and i'm able to get so much stuff done oh girl not netflix back on oh yes girl. okay i'm sorry okay 
we back cooking but anyway let me get back to what i was saying it has been it has felt so good not staying up to four and five o'clock in the morning being able to get up you know my body typically wakes me up about 5 30 so being able to get up and just get things done around the house so what i've been doing when i get up whatever i didn't get to do the night before like cleaning and stuff like that i will literally get up in the morning and that's what i'll do so waking up early y'all that is a flex for me it is like i know that's not a big deal to a lot of people but for me that's a huge deal but anyway girls let me try to find me something to watch on netflix and um i'll give you guys a call back all right girl so we are completely without power um it's 11 o'clock so i woke up from my nap around i think like 10 30 and it's like as soon as i woke up the lights went out and they've been out for good girl i know y'all hear all that noise howl it's like a howl coming into my house because of the wind and the breezeway the pool is chewed up y'all look at the pool area i'm just oh my god y'all <laughs> oh my god it's worse than i thought oh my goodness i cannot believe this it looks really really bad oh my god and this is the noise that i hear all throughout my apartment all right guys welcome to the sixth episode of down to the pool we're gonna name this episode i'm a survivor baby let me tell you something Girl, I got one neighbor. He is down on the grill, on the wheels of steel. We got another neighbor. He got his bucket. He dipping it in the pool. He's taking a bucket in and out of his apartment. Um, I guess so they can flush their toilets. Guys, we don't have any lights. We don't have any water. So they are down here making it happen. Baby, he got every kind of meat and vegetable on the grill he got greens beans tomatoes potatoes ham he got everything so he didn't lit the wet i thought the grill y'all ain't the grill supposed to be like lit before you put the meat on there but anyway okay i'm gonna mind my business but i just wanted to bring you guys down to the pool episode six I am a survivor. Oh, we are in the garage, baby. Girl, this hurricane, it did a number on the apartment complex. Y'all, look at this gate. All right, y'all, so I am sitting in the lobby. Girl, I was sitting outside and then, um, you know, just trying to get a good breeze or whatever. Y'all, why did this man come up to me and was like are the lights on are the lights on and i'm like i have no idea i've been sitting outside for about 20 minutes so i'm not gonna know if the lights are back on or not girl so i'm thinking go sir i have i don't know so he got mad girl and i'm gonna tell you something y'all want to see some funny shit watch somebody try to speed off in a minivan funniest shit in the world but anyway, so I am um, down here. It feels pretty good. I'm probably going to end up going to one of the conference rooms because, you know, it's it's pretty cool or whatever. But, um, y'all, I need a generator or something. <laughs> I really wish I had a generator right now because, baby, this is not it. And then um, I was on TikTok because the internet is actually working down here. So I was on TikTok and it was this one girl. She was talking about some kind of battery pack thing that she purchased. And it's pretty, it's probably the size of maybe like a car battery. So maybe I will look into purchasing one of those. So if this should ever happen again, I will always have, you know, electricity, internet and whatever. 
because I cannot edit. I wanted a vlog to go up tomorrow, but I can't do anything but girls. I just want to say thank y'all because baby, when I tell you, y'all just showed out for your girl on that last vlog that I posted. Um, it has over 10,000 views and I'm very, very grateful. So thank you guys so much. Probably just go sit here for a minute and uh, and then at some point I'll go back upstairs to my apartment. Hopefully, hopefully the lights will be back on soon. We are in the gym and y'all, this is so freaking sad. It's just like, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is starting to take a toll on me, so... A lot of my neighbors are starting to come out the house, guys. It's 5.30. Um, I'm seeing more and more people starting to bring food out to the grill. They're starting to grill food. I'm starting to see a lot more neighbors come to the pool with buckets and trash cans and stuff and fill them up with water. And that's, this is crazy, like, we have like a um, a fire pit and it's like within the fire pit, there's a seating area. All of the pillows are gone, but it's people sitting out there, or whatever. I don't think they realize that maybe the, um, or maybe they do realize that this port is open. So hold on y'all, let me call y'all right back. All right, girls. So we did a quick little drive around the area y'all is really bad it's a lot worse than i anticipated so many trees down power lines are down my neighbors and stuff they're starting to come outside and gather like around the pool and i'm also seeing that in other areas not too far from here i uh, just drove to and i'm starting to see uh like different residences come out and it's a sense of community and that's always like a good thing you know what i'm saying like to know that you live in an area where there is a sense of community or whatever because you know the uh you know around this time i hate to say this guys but i'm gonna say it in houston when things like this happen baby they be on some nigga shit and what i mean by that is like this time where people are most vulnerable people are leaving their homes to get some sense of normalcy people are the a, a lot of you know people take an opportunity to break in you know what i'm saying and so the fortunate thing is uh because there is a sense of community and neighbors are starting to gather you don't really have to worry about the whole break-in aspect or whatever <sighs> girls oh my god y'all <laughs> I can't take it because I feel like my energy is just diminishing. But anyway, y'all know who I feel so sorry for. Like all of my corporate girlies that live in Houston, guys, it just seems like in Houston, unless the mayor personally goes to your fucking job, he literally has to come personally to your job and give a speech and a dissertation as to why it is not safe for you to come to work. Because when I tell you the managers at some of these companies be ready, they be typing up a whole thesis girl symposium uh, the day before a hurricane letting you know that you still need to come to work. Your uh, presence is important um, because the company needs to maintain its value and deliver. And I'm like, that is just so fucking insensitive. And then my best friend told me that her company sent out an email saying um, she's in Mexico. She's stuck in Mexico right now, by the way, guys. They sent her email talking about <laughs> if you don't have power, you need to come to work. I'm like, how are you supposed to go to work if you don't have power? How are you supposed to figure your way out? And unfortunately... A lot of times I know in Houston, if you don't have power, the water is not too far behind. Like it's rare that you don't have power in your house and the water is still on if it's connect, if it's like a, a disaster type of thing or whatever. So those are the girls that I feel so sorry for. Um, my mom is home today, uh, but the entire city should be home. Like y'all, when we had that tornado, they still expected people to go to school. 
they still expected people to go to work. It is just really sad. Like it's insensitive. And a lot of times these companies, they expect for you to be at work with, with these disasters and this, this really, um, this really bad weather and you go to work and then your damn manager be don't, don't even physically be there. They be at home sending you messages from their laptop at home telling you, you need to be at work. But anyway, so, um, I think when I cut my phone off, it was like 615 guys. I cut the phone off because it only has like 5% power and it's no point in just having it on and you know what I'm saying and stuff like that or whatever. So maybe I'll cut it on occasionally to see what time it is and that's it. But y'all, it's nowhere for me to escape. It's nowhere to evacuate. All of the hotels are shut down because nobody has power. So we just gonna have to tough it out. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a call back. Um, we'll probably, uh, maybe later on, we'll probably like put our, I'll probably put my clothes back on. And y'all, we probably gonna end up going to sit downstairs and hang out by the pool, but I'll let y'all know. Hey girl, so y'all, last night after I ate my sandwich, I did not come back. I ended up just laying down and relaxing. So that was around a little bit after 8.50. Um, maybe it was 9. The lights came back on about 11.48. And it was literally only enough time to get up, hurry up, take a shower, uh, fill up like empty, you know, water containers um and get a little bit of charge on the phone and then after that the lights were out so i think they may have come on for 15 minutes max um and we've been without lights ever since ever since i'm just trying to make myself look halfway decent in fact hold on i didn't even realize girl i hope i'm not looking too ashy i've been doing so much other stuff i forgot to Put a little bit of spray on my wig, girl. And girls, I literally just went grocery shopping a few days ago. And y'all, we're going to have to throw all of that stuff away. And uh, we'll go to the grocery store and re-up once all of this is over. So yeah, so definitely surviving Hurricane Barrel. <laughs> so... We'll be doing that. I'm pissed because it's like I didn't get a chance to cook any of that stuff. But the bottom line is with these types of situations, I don't care how much prepping you do. You're never going to be prepared. Even if I would have cooked everything in the fridge, we would have still had a way needed to have a way to keep it cool. You know, at some point, ice will melt. Um, I've been using the ice in the freezer or whatever to keep like things like yogurt and stuff. <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me yogurt and stuff like that cool or whatever but even that's starting to melt so huh, anyway let me um first of all let me fix my top let me get my jacket and put my shoes on and then i'll see you girls when we get downstairs all right girls we are in heb this was one of the few stores that was open I already managed to get some things I'm probably just gonna get some water, but guys, we're probably just gonna be hanging out in the car today because it's just too fucking hot outside to be in that apartment. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but when I left my apartment, there were literally people in the pool bathing. Like, shit is getting real. I wanted some fresh vegetables, but we're gonna probably have to go uh, maybe somewhere else because the vegetables here they aren't fresh don't get me wrong but the problem is it's nowhere to wash it's nowhere to wash them hey girls so y'all we got uh, let's see what do we get we got a lunchable my favorite turkey in American so this peach cobbler yogurt Peach, perfect peach cobbler Chobani flip yogurt bowl thing. Uh, we got water and then we got some Coke. So that's basically it. 
who y'all still trying to let this car i'm sorry let my phone charge up but girl y'all ain't gonna lie when i seen popeyes was open i was like you know what i know there was a god y'all remember that scene on color purple when um when uh what's her name miss seely seen sugar she said when i sent you i know there was a god <laughs> y'all that's how i feel about popeyes but anyway so we probably gonna go there a little bit later um but yeah the city is trying to make it happen um there are a lot of people that have been affected i've definitely have been affected but i'm like I, there is no way i can continue to sit in the house and just not try to get out and do something you know what i'm saying so we probably just gonna be you know just in these streets we're gonna be outside today because i i'm what i'll probably do because i am craving some fresh vegetables i'm probably gonna go to wing stop and the closest wing stop is uh, a little bit past my house so we probably just gonna drive over there see if the lights are on and then um I'm not gonna stop or get out or anything. I'm just gonna see if they're back on. And then, girl, I'm going to wing stop because I cannot, y'all, I cannot go another day without some celery. So that's what we're about to do. But y'all, we are about to go in Trend Mall. Um, I was just kind of, oh, I was just kind of doing it. Oh, y'all, I stepped back too hard or something. But anyway, so I was down here. And I was like, you know what? Let me take the girls to Trend Mall. I think the last time I was in here, the girl, it was a fight. So hopefully it's, you know, it's calm and collected. But anyway, let's see what they have. Um, I'm probably not gonna buy nothing. I just, I just wanted to get out and look around. We have these cropped sweatshirts, y'all. I need to be trying to get one of these uh for homecoming this year so i'll already have it and all i have to do is take it and get it uh embroidered whole these are 5.99 so freaking cute already cropped yes girl but i said i wasn't gonna buy anything i just wanted to show y'all these super cute Y'all, this is cute. If you need something quick to uh, just run to the, where to the airport and you want to look uh, put together. But I'm going to be honest, girl, for these prices, you could add a little bit more to these prices. Like this is $26 and I don't think it's the best quality. But what I was going to say is, girl, you could add probably like another $40 and get something really, really nice on ASOS or another nice website. Oh girl, just go on, on Amazon. You could probably find this on Amazon for under $20. Cause the quality is just, it's not given. All right, now girls, the quality on this is amazing. Baby, when I tell you this thing is heavy, so this is what I'm talking about. Like if you're gonna shop here, then you wanna try to look for the stuff with the best quality. So this is $32. Now I still think that's a bit overpriced, but because the fabric is really, really thick, I know that this is probably something that's gonna last. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna pay $33 for it, but it's still for the quality. I don't think that that's a bad price now y'all these are cute these are like long t-shirt dresses these are like only nine dollars but if you want to like have quick stuff to throw on where you'll look really cute and put together when you run your errands i think those are pretty that's very reasonable um and the quality is not too bad it's kind of like a slinky uh t-shirt material but i like the fact that when you put it on it's gonna clean and stuff like that so not a bad price but again thirty dollars i mean okay let me say this y'all i don't have a problem with uh i don't have a problem with their clothes right it's just the prices okay, so it's the prices versus the quality that's the only thing that i'm opposed to you know what i'm saying and i'm like I don't feel that some of these cheap little dresses need to be $30. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all. This 
Trend Mall in Houston, it is such a good place to come. If you need a cute little, you know, some cute little feeling, little looks or whatever for uh, your vacation, okay? So, and they don't, and everything in here isn't, isn't like not worth it. Like, look at this dress. In fact, hold on, let me see. Okay, so now we cooking with grease. Let me show y'all this dress. This is what I'm talking, this is great quality. This is only $29. It is heavy, don't get me wrong, but if you're gonna be traveling, then this is fine if you're gonna be traveling somewhere that's cooler. This is worth every penny of what they want. It's just some of this other stuff is just like, eh, you know, but this is so cute. Uh, now, if I was to purchase this, I would try to get it in an extra small. This is a small, but it's super stretchy. And it's kind of like that ribbed, that ribbed material. Now they have these guys and these are, let me see. Now that's a good price for these like Hermes knockoffs, $11. Now I don't think that's a bad deal at all. Y'all, these are so freaking cute. Oh my God, I love these. Oh, girls, I ain't gonna lie. I really like these a lot. So freaking cute. And I think these are only $11. So girls, the dirt phone has died officially. So we gonna have to chill in the car a little bit for, uh, in order to get a charge. But what we're about to do, we are about to see if Home Depot is open and if they're open, we're about to go camp out in their parking lot because I need to get something to unclog my drain um, in the bathroom. But anyway, girls, y'all, I've been having so much fun with you girls. Like I know we haven't been doing much, but just like hanging out, but it's been so fun. I love hanging out with y'all. Um, I hope that this <laughs> I hope this vlog is entertaining um, but I don't know I guess it's just you know what what life looks like you know after we have a big storm girl y'all somebody baby daddy is laying over here under a tree rapping girl what is going on y'all you know what I want to because I feel bad about something guys let me just say this I do not want y'all to think like Trend Mall is not a good store. Um, I'm just gonna say, it's just kind of one of those things. Like Trend Mall is a good store. Like say you came to Houston and you were visiting and maybe when you got here, you realized that the vibe wasn't what you thought it was gonna be or you wanted something different to kind of switch up your little look real quick. You don't want to go to the Galleria and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to spend too much money. You just want something for a cute little one-two step. Then I think that the Galleria is good for, I mean, not the Galleria guys. Trim Mall is good for that. Um, and they do have some things that are priced, but it's kind of one of those things where if you have time to put some effort and time and invest a little bit of money into your look, then I just feel that there are other places with better quality things that you can go. But I don't want you guys to think like I'm getting down on Trim Mall because your girl has absolutely shopped in Trim Mall. Trim Mall is the GOAT when it comes to getting some cute little shoes for a quick little one-two or whatever. So I wanted to say that because I just don't want anyone to be like, uh-uh, girl, she thinks she too good for Trim Mall and she be down to the thing when she in and jewelry she... Baby, even though I think, I'm going to be honest, girls, I think me and she in, baby, we done came to the end of the road, honey. I think it's a wrap for me and she in. She in played, they played the fuck out of me the last time. Baby, don't be blowing your horn at me, baby, because don't none of us have nowhere to go but to go sit down in the dark and in the heat. So don't blow at me because I know you don't got nowhere to go. Anyway, I had to get this 1987 Buick LeSabre together behind me because they blowing for no reason. All you doing is making yourself hot by blowing your horn, sir. Calm down. Scooch back. But anyway, so yeah, so that was a fun little cute little hangout or whatever. Uh, and y'all, I met this lady. She was so cutie. She was such a pretty lady. 
and uh, we were just talking about her resume and stuff. And I like anytime I get an opportunity to share my knowledge, y'all already know I am going to share my knowledge. And so I was able to just give her some pointers and some tips and stuff like that or whatever because I'm, you know, I'm willing to do whatever I have I can do to help you girls and y'all know that. But anyway, uh-uh, girl, y'all, not the Buick, not the Buick LaSava backed up into the middle of the street and, and left. Oh, well. But anyway, so, um, okay, good. I finally got a chance. Y'all, come on now, because shit, I got to go. All right. It took forever to get across the street. All right, girls, we are at the Springwood Suites. <sighs> I was like, okay, let me see if I can get us a room for the night. Baby, when I tell you the line is out the dough, so we might have to stick it out tonight. Um, I was over here on TikTok just kind of trying to figure out when power would be restored. They're saying it may not be up and running until tomorrow night, guys. So let's see here. Today is the 9th. Tomorrow night would be, uh, well, tomorrow is the 10th, obviously. But tomorrow night, guys, right now it's 6.35. So we have been driving around all of this time um, just trying to figure it out. And I was like, well, shit, let me just see if it's any option to get a hotel room. And so right now it does not look like it. But what I might have to do is just go back to our old stumping grounds and maybe get a room at the hotel that we stayed in uh that we had during the fire um i'm gonna be honest i was thinking like maybe i could call state form <laughs> and see if there was any recourse or an option um like would this be covered under my renter's insurance but i don't think it would be but anyway so i'm still trying to figure it out girls but anyway um let me try to plan our next move and then i'll give you guys a call back we are at the home too so um we are charging up the ipad as well as the phone and if i'm not mistaken we might already be connected to the wi-fi because i remember when i stayed here before they gave me the wi-fi password and so all i need to do is just wait for the phone to come back on and then we'll go from there. But y'all, it's been a long day. I'm exhausted. So I need to see how much space I have on the camera to see if we can keep the party going, girls. But um, what I was, this is what I was gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think, so I think it's more of a situation where maybe they're not filled to capacity, but they have to consider who they can serve. You know what I mean? Like, they may not be able to occupy or have rooms that's going to accommodate more than 80 people. You know what I mean? And uh, they have to consider the staff and, and, you know, that type of thing or whatever. Because honestly, girls, it's nobody in here. Y'all, let me try to figure out what's going on with this phone because it's not charging. So I'm going to do that and then I'll give you guys a call back. Alright girls, I just wanted to come back and give you guys an update. I am so tired. Um, so I'm just leaving the hotel. I actually, I edited uh, some of the vlog. For all of you girls that, if you guys are looking for like a really good, easy to use editing software, I'm going to highly recommend CapCut. Uh, because CapCut, you can still do a lot of stuff. You can load in your images and stuff like that. You can still edit if you do not have access to Wi-Fi. Um, the only thing that you cannot do, though, is actually uh, you're not going to be able to, of course, export or what have you. So that's okay. Um, I'm looking to get me something to drink. This line oh my gosh this mcdonald's line is crazy and uh, so i'm not really trying to mm, i'm really i want some water but the problem is baby you needs to get up off of me i don't know what you got going on but you guys to move i'm sorry y'all but this car is literally riding on me like the fuck y'all people acting crazy but anyway 
um i need to get some if i could just get like some ice i will be very very happy but i know it just don't work like that in houston you gotta order they want you to order something very much something um in order to you know serve you so maybe we can see if we can get us a cup of water ice water um i don't even know where we could go like i see they have um what's this on cue but i don't, I don't feel like walking in no garage i mean no no uh, gas station stores this time excuse me this time of night you know what i'm saying i just don't feel like it i'm tired it's been a long day so i think once i give me like a big cup of ice i'm gonna be happy we gonna head home and i did bring me like a um little overnight bag just in case we um you know if we would have found an hotel or something but unfortunately we did not but that's okay um you know what i just remember look girl let me see if wendy's is open let me pull up on my friends down to the wendy's now guys wendy's is normally open until like two o'clock in the morning but they may not because of you know extenuating circumstances Oh, y'all, now Wendy's still open. Yeah, let's go over here and pull up on these fools and Wendy's, girl. But anyway, oh, uh-uh, girl. Baby, not the people that's down to the thing driving with all lights and shit on, girl. But anyway, y'all, let me find us a cup of ice water. I mean, a cup of ice so we can make us some water. And then we're going to head home. I guess I'll see you girls when we get back to the darkness. <laughs> When we get back to the darkness, that is the, the uh, bombshell headquarters, girl. All right, girls. I am home, but y'all know. Girl, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, girl. Okay, there we go. I'm on TikTok, girl, y'all. The men's is getting more and more sassy, girl. This dude, Woody, YSL Woody, he's, uh, I guess, a part of this during... Um, Young Thug trial. He the one that was playing games on the on the stand. Anyway, he said he decided to not like give a girl a chance because she didn't stink, but she didn't have a smell. She didn't smell like nothing. Like you couldn't smell her. She literally did not have a smell. And he said because she she didn't stink. She didn't have a smell. He couldn't smell nothing. She ain't have on no perfume or nothing. So he did not give her a chance. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? So I just never heard that before. Like, I'm over here like, now say what now? She didn't stink. She didn't have a smell. She smelled like water, like. No, no, I'm I'm sorry, girls. I'm trying to wrap my right hand handed, my right side of my brain around this because I'm left handed and we think with the right side of our brain. So I'm trying to wrap the right side of my brain around the fact that she didn't have a smell, like she didn't stink, she didn't smell like nothing, like she smelled like air, like nothing, like. So he didn't want to talk. He didn't want to give her a chance. Well, she dodged a bullet anyway, because I heard he likes to. I heard he likes to help people down to their grave, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I'm confusion. That's a new one. I'm going to be honest. She didn't have a smell, so I did not want to talk to her. Because she smelled like nothing. She smelled like water. And she smelled like air. She just didn't smell like nothing. So I didn't want to give her a chance. Okay. Um, if I find any more sad, we're going to call this the Sassy Men's Chronicles. So we starting a new Sassy Men's Chronicles. Oh, but wait a minute. Speaking of men's girl. Now y'all know I'm not male centered or anything. Y'all know that I like to say that because despite the fact that I'm not looking to date or anything like that, despite the fact that I'm not trying to date, 
I ain't gonna lie, girl. It was some good looking men down to the hotel. I would have called y'all back, but I was editing and trying to get, you know, everything situated so I can get this blog out to y'all. But baby, let me tell you. So the reason why the hotel was explaining that they were filled to capacity, even though it looked empty, is because center point energy they're flying people in and people are driving in or whatever to help get the city back up and running so that's really what the problem was so they're i guess sub have subcontractors coming out baby when i tell you it was some good looking men's girls and y'all they all of the men's they was around our age these were no young uh 32 year olds baby these was some grown ass men but i'm gonna be honest i could look at them men and i could tell i was like baby these men's is grown and they make money and they got they got wives they just it's just something about certain men they just carry themselves like i got a wife you know what i'm saying it's just they they got that I got a wife walk and they got that I got a wife look like they just got this I got a wife look in their eyes you know what I'm saying like they'll look real quick or whatever I think it's like let me see if I can do it can y'all see my eyes they, they this is this is the I got a wife look this how they eyes be like that <laughs> y'all if a man ever look at you like. And his head do like that and he hurry up and bring it back. That's that. I got a wife. Look, I'm gonna look real quick, but my, my, I, I got a wife. So they all had that look. And y'all, I know they look really, really good because I used to work with engineers and all of those engineers, they was married. So they'll look real quick and then they'll look away. That's that. I got a wife. Look, so all of the men's and then they got a, like a, I got a wife walk. It kind of like. It they kind of y'all ever seen somebody who hand always look like it's close to their wallet? Like imagine a man when he walk, his hand is always close to his wallet because I guess he used to like going in his wallet and giving his wife money. You know what I'm saying? So just pay attention to that head and pay attention to how their hand is positioned next to that wallet. That's gonna tell you everything you need to know if you don't see a wedding ring. But anyway. The men's was looking good. I ain't gonna even much lie to you, baby. They was looking good down to the home, two suites or whatever. So I was like, oh, okay, this is why they don't have no no rooms or whatever. And then I was on my way. Oh, uh, when I first left the house, girl, some company, Ecos or some company like that, girl, y'all, they had some big old tall, fine black men's, girl. I said, well, baby, where they get these big old tall, fine men's? I'm going to be honest. To me, the way that those guys was looking, they looked like they probably played professional football and then their career ended in football and then they are now in their second career. Because, girl, when I tell you, they was, oh, they was looking good, girl. They was like on some like, doing something with some big old oil truck or whatever and i'm gonna tell y'all to all of my all of my explants are uh i guess it's an explant is that what you call the girls who just moved to houston to all of my houston girls y'all the oil and gas men's be making some nice money if y'all on the dating market and you guys meet you meet a nice guy or whatever but it's just oil and gas can be really, really unstable, guys. It really can. I mean, the money is good, especially in the summertime when things pick up, pick up, because they're out drilling and stuff like that. So in the summertime is when the big money comes. But when it gets cold and stuff outside, you know, there's a lot of layoffs. So that's that's something you guys need to know if you were interested in dating some of the oil and gas men's down to the H or whatever. I'm telling y'all, I say this, I be trying to, look, I be trying to give you girls the game. Now, I don't know about put P in a dating pool and all of that stuff in Houston because I'm not out there like, I'm not dating. But I'm just saying like one thing about the city of H, the H town, it's not no problem. You're never going to have a problem with dudes coming up to you in Houston. Now, I can't tell you if they're going to be on some BS or not. But one thing that's never going to happen is you having trouble getting attention or getting a dude to ask you on the date. That's never going to be a problem. Now, whether or not you go is a totally different story. Now, whether or not they invite you to somewhere nice that you want to go is a different story. We're going to continue the um, Hurricane Chronicles in the morning when I wake up.
All right. I forgot to do this, but um, I need the governor of Texas, the mayor of Houston, and Centerpoint Energy to come to the front because I'm about to read them Bragley Reeboks off them cornfield feet of yours. Centerpoint. What is going on? Okay, Centerpoint. Centerpoint. Why the fuck, the fuck, didn't y'all have the peoples down to the thing? I, because, okay, let me just say this. When I hung up with y'all after talking about all the men's and stuff that was flying in, I was thinking, okay, you know what? That's cute. That's a cute little kiki or whatever. But why didn't they fly the men's in? Because they've been knowing about the storm, y'all, for a minute, Okay. Why were the men's that flew in wasn't already down here before the storm? Y'all, this storm has been brewing at least for the last week. So that lets me know that they had time to prepare. Guys, this was a, this was a, um, I think it was like maybe on a one from a one to a four on a one. If Houston cannot handle a one in terms of a storm, what the hell are we going to do if we ever get anything higher or even a four at that matter, uh, you know, for that matter. But between the mayor, the governor, and Centerpoint, why didn't they pull their resources together to have these people in place before the storm? Guys, we have been preparing and knowing about this storm since July the 3rd. Or maybe even before then because it was supposed to hit in uh, Mexico, then in Texas. So now that I think about it, they've been freaking knowing. But anyway, I'm going to need them to get their life together. And then they're going to talk, they talk about, um, well, we're just trying to prepare for um we're trying to prepare and make sure that power is on at police stations and that we have power at um the hospitals my thing is this girl ain't even no police down to the police station they are on the road driving around making sure they ain't none of these damn meth dope fiends out here stealing copper off the side of buildings because girl that's what they do see anytime it's a storm or anything a national disaster happens in houston and the city is extremely vulnerable and a lot of you know wires and stuff are exposed and you know because of the the damage is being done the dope fiends pull up to the scene and they 1985 Buick LeSabre and, and they Fred Sampin and Son trucks. And they rips the siding and stuff off of these buildings in hopes of getting copper. And then they take the copper wherever, get it melted down. And then they go get money so they can go get meth. And then they do it all over again. It's goddamn rinse and repeat. Okay. So y'all talking about having the police station you know but the police the, the police are out patrolling the cities to keep everything safe like we even had some police out here not tonight but last night last night we had people out here whatever because they're trying to protect the property because y'all everything is literally exposed like sides of buildings like wires all types of stuff like we're we guys i'm over here making jokes but the city is in bad shape it's wednesday july the 10th we still don't have any lights so i just took my second baby white bath um but it is effective it does work but um so it's just basically a hood bath. You baby wipes, you wet them down, you put some soap on them, you wipe your entire body down, you, you know, wash the important parts uh, quite a few times. And then you get some more baby wipes, you wet those down, and then you wipe your entire body down. So that's what we have to do. But anyway, girls, we're going to get out of here. I'm exhausted. It's hot as hell. Girls, y'all, look what we got. Ooh! It's about to go down, baby. Ooh, 
baby. Guys, look. Look at this crispity, crunchy, gorgeous meal, y'all. Look. Mmm. Mm. Baby. Mmm. Baby. Y'all, I'm sorry if I'm crunching in y'all ear. Baby, I know there was a God. Baby, God been on my side this whole time. When Popeye's was open yesterday, and when you stop open today, mm, 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 mm. Girl, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Let me make sure he gave me all my celery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Because it come with nine. It come with ten celery and and ten carrot sticks. But I should have just got all carrot sticks. Or I should have got fifteen celery and five carrots. But whatever. So girls, y'all, I was fuck. I was freaking fiending. Y'all, I was going crazy because I needed some vegetables, y'all. This is how I start my morning every morning with celery and ice water. So that's how I start my morning. And then after that, I drink a cup of coffee. And then after that, I make some oatmeal. And if I don't make oatmeal, I'll make like pancakes and sausage or something like that. And then I'll eat lunch. And then I'll prepare dinner or whatever. But mm, oh my God. Mm. 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 Baby. Baby, when I tell you these, oh Lord, these carrots is so delicate mm, and crispy and crunchy. Mm. I'm sorry, girl. Let me go try to find somewhere for us to camp out for a minute so I can eat my food and then I'm going to give you girls a call back. All right, girls, it has been, <laughs> so y'all, it has been a few hours later and I'm still camping out in my car. Let me sit up a little bit. So now we are doing the Bombshell Camp Out Chronicles. Guys, it is so freaking hot everywhere. So y'all, the gym is closed, okay? So there is no way or nowhere for me to go and get like a full on body, nice body stretch. Um, the power around me is still out. Uh, so I don't know what my next move is. I know that Home to Sweets, they said I could come back and charge everything up and I will go back over there. But I just need to kind of like stretch my body out. I did not sleep well last night, y'all. It was a boiling in my apartment. So I didn't sleep well. And I'm just tired. But can we give it up for the wig, honey? The wig. Baby, she's showing out for you, girl. But I'm tired. And I just need some sleep. So, y'all, what I did, I went online and I looked up um, day stays to see if there were any day stays available in Houston. I, I mean, there were, they're not, and I'm not going to say obviously because it's not obvious. You just never know. So anyway, um, a day stay is basically where you can check in in a room from like 10, but you have to be out by five. And it's typically only like a hundred dollars or so. So there are no day stays available. There are no rooms available. So, I just want to stretch out and take a nap, guys. I'm tired. And then the library is not open, but even if it was, y'all, they got them hard-ass seats, some elementary school-ass seats, girl. And I'm going to be honest. I'm like, what did I do? Like, who do I need to apologize to? So, I decided that I'm going to take this time and I'm just going to post... I just want to post a sincere public apology. I would like to publicly apologize to anybody that I called a monkey meat eating bitch when I was driving. I want to apologize to anybody that I said was driving a 1987 Buick Anybody that was in any of my episodes of Down to the Pool 
um anybody that was in any of my episodes of um down to the hall anybody that was in any of my episodes <laughs> Yo, I literally got to apologize to them to everybody in Houston. Okay, let me finish. Anybody that was in any of my episodes or down to the H-E-B, let me see who else, y'all, who else? Okay, any wig companies that I made fun of y'all wigs and said that the wigs was ugly and dry, any companies that I said your clothes were cheap and they were made out of do-rags, I would like to apologize to the lady that I secretly cussed out because you cut in front of me in the line with them raggedy ass Reeboks that was linked over to the side and you was being mean and bogle in your way but the back of your neck looked like it had been chewed up by a pile of cotton ball ants and you was rolling your eyes and stuff and then I had seen you sneak some lemon pepper and some deodorant in your purse like uh and pretended that i didn't see it but i could have told on you down to the heb i would like to apologize <laughs> so guys i think that's everybody I think I might have covered every single person that I needed to apologize to down to the Houston streets. And I just hope that this apology will secure my restoration of gas, power, lights, coal, air conditioning, Wi-Fi, and all of the other things that we typically take for granted on a daily basis and did i say water yes water in target and i've been hearing a lot about the uh workout section let me show y'all what i've really been liking a lot lately let me see so i've been liking these like shorts these right here not not this short but i have been loving these i did a sponsorship with bay bay leaf so recently I did a sponsorship with them. They sent these shorts, so freaking cute, and I have been addicted. So, let me see. See, yeah, these are a little bit shorter than I want to go. Y'all look, oh my God, this is so cutie. I love this. Now for this, I'm a little bit of a shy girl, honey. So I probably wouldn't uh, try that on, but that's really, really cute. Let me see. Oh, I saw a girl on TikTok that, oh, y'all, for the girls who got the legs, honey, these are for you. I saw a girl on TikTok and y'all, she looks so freaking cute with these on. Um, so she tried on all of these cute little sets. Uh... I'm not seeing what I want. So right now I'm in a very uh, like mixed neighborhood, but girls, they do not have any of Janae Naylor. That's really what I came in here for, to try on some of her stuff or whatever, to at least see if they had the second drop and they don't. Um, this is a mixed neighborhood, but this is also a very, very, very business. This is a very business uh, dominant neighborhood. So it's more, y'all, it's more businesses over here than anything. And I, I don't, I think that her things are appropriate. It's, you, you know, they are appropriate and I don't understand why they're not here because you can wear them and incorporate them into your everyday life or whatever. So um, I was surprised to not see them here but anyway so girls these are kind of like the length of shorts that i think are really really cute but i got on some black ones kind of like that right now so i was trying to um i was trying to find some different colors i'm gonna be honest like i'm i just i'll just be kind of wanting to know like how do they determine what stores that things are gonna go to you know what I'm saying? What is the determining factor? Because I've seen some things that are sexy looking little stuff or whatever. So I'm just like curious as to why her stuff is not in here. I would just like to know like how 
do they decide what stores certain things are going to go to um because houston is like that a lot like we have a dsw and that particular dsw they really cater to like more business women they don't have a lot of stuff like you know really formal or going out or weekend type stuff most of that stuff is like very conservative pumps and you know whatever so anyway i wanted to just show y'all these really cute pants y'all they i'm not gonna lie they got some really cute like work stuff here so y'all they really do have some cute work coordinates really really cute stuff um i'm pretty sure i'm late to the party uh, because you girls know y'all know i love asos and so i literally have my head buried in the book of asos uh figuratively speaking so i typically don't go outside of that so that's why i'm becoming a target and seeing some of this cute stuff is like now say what now girl y'all okay i ain't gonna see it no more i'm gonna say it this one last time and i'm gonna leave it alone y'all cannot believe that they don't have none of janae's stuff here i'm serious okay i'm done i'm gonna get off my soapbox y'all this is a sight to see i don't know if you guys can see like you should be able to see the pool pretty good guys the water level is extremely low because people have been coming back and forth to the pool filling up water jugs and stuff like that but water is back on in my apartment i don't know if um I don't know if everybody else has water, but I do. Uh, I'm assuming everybody does, but this is basically what the pool uh, looks like um, after we didn't have water for days and people were just going down here, getting the water out. And uh, it's, it's really sad. I am tired. Um, so guys, it is Wednesday, October the, I'm sorry, it's Wednesday, July. Is it July? Yeah, it's July the 10th. I'm exhausted. Um, so I've been just out all day trying not to be home. And um, finally back at the house um, when I was, so what I did, I stopped at Popeye's. I didn't pick you guys up cause I'm just tired. And um, my energy is running low. But when I was leaving, I saw all of these center point trucks and stuff and it's just like, I don't know what's going on. Um, hopefully, we'll be next with the power. It looks like everybody around us has power except for us. So, I don't know. Um, when I did come back, a lot of my neighbors are gone. So, yeah, a lot of my neighbors are gone. And so, I don't know when we're going to be back up and running. I'm tired. It's just been a long day. It's been a long few days. It's been at this point. So I've been without power since Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It will be Thursday in a couple of hours. I'm starting to wear down. I'm probably going to take a shower um, because at least I can do that. It feels, it's feeling a little bit breezy out here. So tonight, We'll probably sleep in the living room. I've never slept on my sofa, so I have no idea how comfortable it is, but we'll be doing that, but I'm tired. Um, I don't know, but anyway, y'all, let me just try to figure everything out and uh, I'll give you guys a call back.